Hello and welcome to Mallow for the Munster Junior Ladies Football Final here between MKL Gales and Mullinahoan. Uh, uh, when did you do it? by Durbla Marcy today. Durbla, uh, weather conditions today could have a huge factor in this game. Yeah, absolutely. That wind is a, is, is a very strong wind out there now. So whoever's playing with that wind in the first half will, I say, will definitely use that as their advantage, you know. Yeah, we've seen a lot of um, Mullinahoan during the year. We wouldn't know too much about MKL, but uh, four parishes combined together. So they're obviously going to be strong here as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've no doubt that they'll be a, a good team. Like, you know, they're they're here for the same reason as winning their junior club, you know, as, as well as Mullinahoan. And as a Kerry club, you know, Kerry's football is always another level. So I say it'll be a cracking game of football today. Yeah, and I suppose, um, as you said, whoever gets the toss, you'd imagine they will play with the wind. Like, that's going to be a huge factor. So um, you can see whoever's playing against the wind possibly may drop a couple of players back. Like, a try and work the ball out. Yeah, definitely. Um, do you know, because they, they'll be put under a seven amount pressure whoever's playing against the wind and they'll really have to work that ball up to try and get any scores. Because that wind is so strong, I think when you kick the ball, it'll nearly come back to you, do you know, so... Yeah, really kick, out, kick out's going to be vital, so and what way the whole team set up for him. Yeah, absolutely. I think a short kick out will be a key thing here against that wind, do you know. Yeah, and uh, so the teams are still out in the backfield going through their final preparations. So, uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes after the break, so keep stay tuned to this. Like, great game of football is going to be in place.
welcome back to Malo and uh, teams just going for the toss there, Quiv Evans and Molly Walsh. It's actually going to be vital now to see who wins this toss. Mullinahona won the toss there, Molly Walsh has decided to play with the wind in the first half from right to left. So, as I said, that could have a huge bearing on the game. Uh, just going to take a quick run down through the teams here, and um, we'll start with NKL Games. Uh, in goal is Sita Ash, the full back line are Danielle O'Sullivan, Dorva Foley, and Kira Tangi. The half back line, Mered Lahan, Kira Murphy, and Laura Prendergast, and Laura Hickey, and Neil Broderick. The half hour line, Eilish Murphy, Quiv Evans, who captains the team, and Katie Dennehy. Claude Evans, Maeve Rochford, and Darrell Kennedy make up the full forward line. And just take a look at Mullen the Horn. There is one change from the team that was selected during the week. Alice Brown is in goal. Emer Horn is wearing two. In a full back is number 27, Grania Horn will be replacing Ali Fennelly, who's out through illness, and Aoife O'Brien is in the corner. Half back line, uh, Emma Cody, Molly Walsh, and Jenny Brett, uh, Nicole Shelley, and Eva O'Shea in centre of the field. Uh, half forward line of Catherine Foley, Michaela Keneally, and Lorraine O'Shea. Uh, Chloe Gunn, Denise Gall, the uh, Kilkenny Camogie star. Uh, Claire Egan are in the full forward line. So that's the two teams. Um, as I said, they're just going through the final preparations. So, uh, huge crown building here in Mallow at the moment. So, uh, the, we had um, two games on so far this weekend. Kerry are going for three in a row. They, they won the senior B and they won the intermediate. Four games, one point victories. So, Mull the Horn will be looking to put a stop to that now. NPL uh, Gales down at the goal to our, goal to our left, uh, going through the warm ups there. So, uh, as you can see, um, judging around the flag of one of the Mull the Horn supporters, you can see that it's clearly blown right down, right to left. Uh, and, uh, uh, the, at least the rain has stopped and there was heavy rain here earlier on so, uh, huge crowd coming in there and as the teams go through their final uh, preparations uh, uh, we'll um, be back to you after the break
you stand into attention for a long view. Huge roar there from the crowd as we are on the wing finishes. Uh, just looking and uh, uh, huge crowd still coming in here. Uh, they're taking up positions on the bank and you can see a few Munhorn brave souls going over onto the bank of the far side with their flags as the rain begins to start again. Referee is Michael Flannery of Limerick. Change just there in Mullen Horn. Catherine Foley and Denise gone. Maybe they're just going out for the throw in there at the centre of the field. Dave O'Shea seems to be going in around the. And Lorraine O'Shea seems to be going in around the full forward line. Uh, MKL Gale seems to be starting as selected. Uh, are they going to try and get a quick ball into the two O'Sheas and Claire Egan? Nicole Shelley has gone centre forward and Michael Keneally has gone onto the wing. There's changes all over the place. We'll follow the play and see what, what develops. Darvill Foley and Kira Murphy have changed positions but they've gone back here. Darvill Foley has gone in and Ava O'Shea. The game is on. Nicole Shelley comes forward and she's won the free. Lorraine O'Shea is loose inside. O'Shea gathers it. Chloe Gunn is off her shoulder. O'Shea taking on Kira Murphy. She's still going. She's still going. She's still going. And the free throws are back. Look for a foot up or something. One of the setting out the salt right from the start. See it Ash with the kick. Gives it off there to Lorna Hickey. Ava O'Shea putting on the pressure. O O'Shea, she has Lorraine off her shoulder, and here comes Lorraine O'Shea. Back to Ava. Off the right there, it's in the net. It's a goal. What a start for Lorraine. Lorraine O'Shea with the free throw. 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 Lorraine O'Shea with the he gives it back and it's Mairead Lehan. Amos Murphy is on this side of the field. Lehan goes down towards Quiv Evans, the captain. Evans taking on Molly Walsh. She's still going. She's up over the 40. She's under pressure there from Catherine Foley. Gives it off inside Maeve Rochford. And Rochford wins the free. Good response by Gales to the early setback. And Rochford's going to take the free herself. And that's gone over the bar. First score of the game for MPL Gales. May have Rochford free. It's a goal to a point, so two minutes on the clock. 
Um, Alice Brown is going to take this off the ground, a uh, tactic she's used all year. She's looking for runners, she's trying to find Nicole Shelley. Shelley has it, lets it off to Michaela Keneally. Keneally gives it back to Shelley. She's looking for support now. It's it off there to Denise Gall. Gall's going to go along. But back there is Katie Dennehy. Ball is clear, but Keneally comes onto it. This is back to Nicole Shelley. Ah, she ran into it, but Keneally manages to keep it. Back to Shelley. One in the home, being patient in the building. Denise Gall coming forward. Gall screws it, the ball's up in the air. Third and four, and there goes Shea going for the ball to us loose. All oh, she just possessed. Ball is on the ground. They're fighting for it in there. Who's going to come out with it? It's Danielle O'Sullivan is the winner for three. There's a run down there by Claude Evans. Evans has it, lays it off. Ball is laid off here, and Claude Evans coming forward. Giving it off inside to Cleve Evans, the captain. She's up over the 40 again, goes down towards Maeve Rochford. Rochford taking on Granny Horn, gets inside her. Horn does well to win it back, gives it off there to Catherine Foley. One of the home building. Ball goes towards Nicole Shelley again. Shelley trying to find the run. O'Shea, good ball ahead. run, rest in possession with Katie Dennehy. The ball is going to beat her, it's going to go out over the line, it's the first wide of the game. And the whole leaving the two O'Shea's inside, but they need to get the ball in quicker to them. Kick out, going loose, but Gales managed to pick it up. And it's Kira Tangy on the third side. And then it off there to Kira Murphy. Uh, Lorna Hickey coming forward. Hickey taking the three. Denise Gall tries to intercept it, but the ball is on the ground and it's Cleve oh Evans. Evans. Evans gives it off there to Neve Broderick. Broderick trying to make it for Rochford. Rochford causing a lot of trouble early on. She has Cleve Evans running. Oh, she couldn't make it, and Michaela Keneally. Comes out with it. It's enough to Denise Gall. Gall goes long towards Eva O'Shea. O'Shea has it. She's going to take on Derby Foley. Gives it down towards her sister, Lorraine O'Shea. And the wind is going to beat her again. That ball just carrying. Just goes to show how strong that wind is out there. Yeah, it's just a small little tap of the ball off the coast and wind carried it. Claude Evans is over on the far side, picking up and uh, receiving treatment there at the end. Referee just as a fair start. And see if Ash is going to take the kick out. Gives it this side to Daniel O'Sullivan. Sullivan gives it off there to Ellis Murphy. Murphy is fouled. It goes into the middle there to Lana Hickey. Hickey's under pressure. Daniela Sullivan gives it off again to Ernest Murphy. Players loose. Mon Mahona retreating as brought forward by Kira Tangy onto Katie Dennehy. Down towards Cleve Evans. Ball is going to beat her over the line. It's a line ball from Mon Mahon. Jenny Brett is going to take it. Back to Eve O'Brien. Eve O'Brien towards Jenny Brett, but it was misplaced. And Ellis Murphy and to Cleve Evans. Oh, and the referee's going to talk to Eve O'Brien there.
seven minutes on the track. Um, it's just the MKL girls crowd aren't happy about it, but it's the man in the middle who makes the decisions. Now, Ailish Murphy comes forward. Murphy trying to find uh, Lorna Hickey, but it, it's Michaela Keneally who managed to intercept it. And Claire Egan. Claire Egan giving it off to Molly Walsh. Back again to Claire, to the goal. And here's Denise Gall. Denise kicks it on goal in. Working around O'Shea. O'Shea yes. tries to break it, but it lands in the hands of third and forty. And Danielle O'Sullivan is one the whole of two players inside and it's a five for MKL Gales. So um, I think one the whole are going to have to change tack there. Kick goes over the far side. And it's Neve Broderick coming forward. Broderick up over halfway. Taking it on. Uh, hand Time comes in from Emma, Emma Cody. And Cody gives it off to Chloe Gunn. Gunn will go off in a run here. No, she'll give it off to yeah, Eva O'Shea. Yeah. O'Shea, take it on Katie Dennehy. Nicole Shelley has gone one way, but O'Shea stays going herself. O'Shea gets the kick in. And, and O'Shea it puts it over the bar. Super score by Eva O'Shea. And it's 1 1 to a point with eight and a half on the clock. Eva O'Shea with the goal on the point for Mun the Horn. Maeve Rochford with a free for yeah. Gales. Kick goes over the far side. Chloe Gunn trying to get down onto it. She's taking on Kira Murphy. Gunn still going forward, needs support. Takes on the second tackle. Oh, she was held up there. And Gales have it back. It's intercepted again. Gall gives it back to Nicole oh, Shelley. Hand comes in. Good tackle there by Kira Murphy. Murphy, Murphy. Murphy. Murphy is coming very deep. Uh, tackle in, but Irish Murphy gets it back. And Kales and Field. Tackle comes in. It was a referee's given the free. It was Catherine mm -hmm. Foley who made the tackle. The Gales crowd in the stand are getting very agitated. She seemed to make a genuine attempt. It just, she was just beaten on the tackle. It's a yellow card. It's a sin bin for Catherine Foley. And Mun Mahone are going to have to respond to that. Coming forward, Kira Tangy giving it off to Claude Evans. Evans held up. Come on, Lorna, definitely throwing in the hard tackles today. Eilish Murphy gives it in to the centre. It's Neve Broderick. Broderick and it's intercepted by Maria O'Shea and Chloe Gunn. Gunn will carry this ball. Gunn giving it off to Eva O'Shea. O'Shea looking for support now. Emma Cody's made a great run on the far side, but she hasn't been spotted. She's spotted, spotted now. Good ball. And Emma Cody will come forward. Facing Katie Dennehy. Takes her on. Bouncing that ball on the ground. But where is that going to go? It's going to go it's wide, wide. And it's a third wide for Mun Mahone. Stephen Ash with the kick goes over towards Kira Murphy. Murphy taking on Chloe Gunn. Still going, but Gunn manages to win it back. She's held up, gives it back to Denise Gall. Gall getting on a lot of ball early on. Gives it into the centre, Michaela Keneally. Off to Eva O'Shea. Eva O'Shea is good runner by Jenny good Brett. Run there. Jenny Brett has it. Brett, she's still going. Gives it along the ground here, O'Shea. O'Shea trying to make an angle for herself. She she'll use the win and, she and she'll put it over the bar. Eva <laughs> O'Shea is on fire. She scored 1 2. You can see when O'Shea is making runs that Gail's of three or four players around her. She's still getting on top of it. Maria O'Shea tries to intercept that. And she wins and she it. has it. And Ava's loose inside and she has it again. Ava O'Shea 
She goes low. Oh, 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 oh the chance of a rebound. Oh, she oh, takes the safe option by Claire Egan and puts it over the bar. It could have been a second goal. You see, it's Ashton. Well, the referee's going in. Talk to the umpire there. See if there's a square ball, is it? See there in the, in the net and the goal, how strong that wind oh, he's is. He's going in up there. Seems to be Nicole Shelley. Didn't see what happened though. No. Uh, he just takes it. It's one tree to a pine. Here, take me. Evans coming forward. Evans goes straight through the middle. She's still going. Mon the Horner back and off her. Gives it off to Queen yeah, Evans. Evans puts the head down. She's inside the 21. A oh, great block down by Denise Gaw, but it comes to Mayor Roxford. Roxford, hand in by. A great hand in there by Alice Browning. Ball is loose. Lorraine Kennedy, there, she's on the ground, won the hole, come out with. Lorraine are stopped again and it's a free out. Great work by both teams. Molly Walsh tests the kick. Emer Horn. Or it's Emma Cody, is it? Oh, she uh, done for over carry and then the referee's going to bring it up 13 metres. Kick comes into the middle to Cueva Evans. Evans taking on her opposite Evans number. Claude Evans. Gives it off. Claude Evans. Back to Cueva Evans. To Katie Dennehy. Dennehy gives it off to Maeve Rochford. Ailish Murphy is off her shoulder and Murphy has it. And Murphy and makes the... Kick kick that's gone oh, wide. wide. It's a is it even good? The ball is still in play. The, still on the, line. the ball is still in play. And now it's, it's gone 40 for a 45. 40. We were waiting for the... Umpire to put up his or to just stop it, it on the line. As we said, it just goes to show the strength of the wind here. Never seen something like that before. <laughs> New Brontrick is going to take it. She goes backwards to Katie Dennehy. Dennehy, she has Kira Tangi on this side of the field. Tangi gives it off again to Katie Dennehy. Tangi has continued her run, gives it inside to Queen of Evans. Evans kicks. That's going to go wide Wait, this time. It's a first wide for MKL Gales. And the referee is going to pause it for the water break, is he? He is. One tree to a pint. And Still down to 14 for the next maybe four minutes or so. Gales are bringing the two wing forwards back very deep and they're going to have a carry ball. Ailish so, Murphy and Katie Dennehy. Munn Horner back out in the field and here come Gales will resume with a kick out for Munn Horn. Alice Brown will take it. Off the ground as always. As we said, talking to Paul Kelly after the after the county final and he was telling me that 
uh, they played the league final against Bohanan, who were an intermediate team. Uh, all their kickers that evening were, they got completely cleaned out. And they decided this tactic in training, and it's been working very well for them all year. Kick goes there to Grania Horn. Horn coming forward, taking on Leif Ratchford, gives it off to Denise Gaul. Gaul gives it back to Emer Horn, back to Gaul again. Gives it over to Emma Cody. And Cody will go on a run if she can get past Kelly Dennehy. Dennehy is doing well to hold her up. She goes long towards Lorraine O'Shea. And again, there's three players there, but O'Shea has won the free. Or there was a late tackle on Emma Cody on the far side, so this will be a free from the 21 yard line. That's what it looks like, and Lorraine O'Shea will have a chance to open her account. Bring it back. Where the foul was first. Where the foul I thought it was a late tackle. Who are we to argue with the match officials? <laughs> Nicole Shelley comes forward. Shelley gives it off to Evo Shea. Back, back to, to Shelley. Shelley. She's going through. She's inside the 21. She's, She's inside the 14. She kicks and she puts yeah. it over the bar. Could have been a goal. I suppose to have one four score, they could have easily had. 3-2 score. Kick out taken and it's intercepted by Lorraine O'Shea. O'Shea, Chloe Gunn is off her shoulder. She has it. Gunn trying to take on Kira Murphy. Comes back. Back to O'Shea. And Denise Gall has made a run. Gall is going to kick from 40 yards out. And, and score. they don't play football in Kilkenny. <laughs> Denise Gall, the all Ireland medal winner with Kilkenny. And now she's opening her account and it's 1 5 to a point. Kick goes down here and it's Laura Prendergast. Prendergast off to Ailis Murphy. Into Evans. Queen Evans is going to take on Molly Walsh. Evans, Evans running Evans. inside the 40. She's still inside going. There. She needs She's options going. now. Oh, oh that's one yeah. intercepted. Grand your horn, read that ball brilliantly. She has it back, she's under pressure. And the Mullen Home crowd now, it's their turn to start getting excited. Calling for freeze. Mick Flannery just 10 minutes. Oh, it's badly taken there by Claire Egan. And it was intercepted by Maeve Rochford. Rochford going forward, let it off to Queen Evans. Evans. And that, that's going to go wide. And let off for Mullen Home, but there's a player down. It looks like Aoife O'Brien, is it? Just fell awkwardly there. Um, Claire Egan breathing a huge sigh of relief there. Aoife O'Brien is back on her feet. That couple of minutes that Aoife O'Brien gave him the ground allowed it into the time and Catherine Foley is back in the field and Mullen Horn are back to the full complement. Brown attests the kick. Oh, comes out as far as midfield. Claire Egan trying and she's won the free. Nicole Shelley will take it. Gives it off to Denise Gall. Back to Shelley. Nicole Shelley coming forward, 
Emma Cody is on the far side, but she... Chloe Good! Oh, the ball got away from her! And it's Kira Tangy. Lee Frodrick with the kick, but a scoot off her foot. Eilish Murphy trying to keep it in, but... Ball got away, and she runs into the... Horton. Lorraine O'Shea is going to come over. Just nobody inside inside the team, one more. And they're so with the wind, going, like, so yeah. that ball is going to carry in. She tries she to find Eva O'Shea, but it's intercepted. Uh, it and it's another free, and it's Kira Tangy, I think, that was going to put it. Eilish Murphy now taking on Lorraine O'Shea. And um, it's Lana Hickey. Hickey. Hickey gets the one too. She's still going. And um, it's Katie Dennehy. I know it's Queeve Evans or Claude Evans. And um, Evans is fouled there by Denise Gall. Ball goes back to Elish Murphy. Gives it into the centre and uh, Mered Lehan. Lehan over halfway. Goes over the far side, but there's nobody there but Emma Cody. Emma Cody, sorry. And Cody comes forward. But she's got nobody ahead of her. And Chloe Gunn makes a run now. Gunn gives it back. And Emma Cody still coming forward. She's still going. She's under pressure from Katie Dennehy. She gets the shot in, that's going to drop short. Oh, a, a little bouncer in front of Seat Ash, she done well. Oh, that's oh, oh, it's intercepted by Emma O'Shea. O'Shea, barrel down and goal! It's in the net! It's a goal! Emma O'Shea is having a super game of the ball. What work by Emma O'Shea! To put the pressure on Dorval Foley and Danielle O'Sullivan. And all of a shot, it's a 10 point game, but they could have won all this. With that win, Zeeth Ash takes the kick short this time. <coughs> Referee has the arm up. Eva O'Shea is questioning why she's on her knees on the ground. Referee is talking to Lorraine O'Shea now. Kick taken there to Laura Prendergast. Prendergast is under pressure. She's trying to get out. Gives it back to Lorna Hickey. Hickey gives it off. Oh, it's intercepted by Denise Gall. And one holder away again. The attack is on. Gives it in to Chloe Gunn. Gunn. Here's a shot. No. Good defending by it. Was a Murray at the hand. Yeah. But even intercepting that ball, it just goes to show with the wind. The ball nearly has to go to hand at this stage. The wind is blowing that ball all over the place. Oh, Shelley gonna take it. Gives it back to Jenny Brett. Brett gives it back to Shelley. Back to Aoife O'Brien coming a long way from her corner back position. Denise Gall onto Nicole Shelley. Shelley gets inside the Ellis Murphy. Ball went loose. Aoife O'Brien off to Denise Gall. Gall trying to uh, Paul doesn't go inside and it's intercepted. Hickey. Lorna Hickey coming out with it. Gail's building again with Eilish Murphy. Murphy. Great ball down oh, this side of the field to Claude Evans. Evans. She's Evans looking for support. Need Broderick. Broderick on to Eilish Murphy. Murphy. Evans. Claude Evans. Evans Our Queen Evans. She's, She's still going. She's beaten two. She's heading up. She gives it back to Claude Evans. Evans trying to find Maeve Rockford. Rochford gets in the kick and it's intercepted and Ronya Horn onto Jenny Brett and Catherine Foley, Foley giving it off to Claire Egan, Egan under pressure from Manish Murphy, manages to find Nicole Shelley, 
Shelly takes on the two and she's fouled. Paul given to this side to Ava O'Shea. Ava O'Shea, she's facing Kira Murphy. Murphy stands off her, gives it over the far side to Emma Cody. Cody onto Chloe Gunn. Oh, Gunn leaves it behind her, but she managed to get it. She's taken on Kate Identity. She's still going. She gets the kick in. And it's gone over the bar. And Chloe Gunn opened her account. She got a goal in the Munster semi final, of course, against Castlehaven. And it's 2 6 to a point. Zika has to kick out and Durbla Foley. Back again to Durbla. Foley up over the 40, gives it off to Lorna Hickey. Hickey That's finding Claude, Claude Evans. Evans. Evans trying to take on Catra Foley. Hickey looking for options now, gives it off to Cueve Evans. Evans back to Hickey and Ailish Murphy and his ball ends up on the ground but she managed to retrieve it back to Mayor of Rochford. Rochford into Evans in the centre, back to Rochford. Rochford trying to find her side ball, well intercepted by Chloe Gunn. And Gunn is away and Gunn wins the free. Very impressed with Chloe Gunn there. She's doing a huge amount of work, travelling up and down the far side of the field. Emma Cody. Cody facing Mav Rochford. Rochford trying to get back at her and Rochford fouls her. And the referee's going to talk to her. Just ticking. Kick goes back to Denise Gore. And to Emma Cody again. Cody coming up the far side. Good chase down. Managed to get it in towards Chloe Gunn. Oh, and Gunn has it. She's inside the 21. Off to Lorraine O'Shea. O'Shea. She's been held up. And O'Shea gets the free. MKL girls have their homework done on Lorraine O'Shea. They know she's a dangerous woman. Just two or three around her every time she gets the ball. She'll be looking to open her account here. Hasn't scored at all yet. Shea kicks. And O'Shea puts it over the bar. That's her first score. And it's 2 7 to a fine. Zeta Ash takes the kick. And the wind is caught. It's, and, and the wind. And it, it's so, that wind completely caught that ball there. Yeah. She had a player in front of her and just scored off her foot. And of course, Shelley now. Giving it in to Michaela Keneally. Off to Ava O'Shea. O'Shea looks for options, tries to find Denise Gall. Gall gets it eventually under pressure from Lee Broderick. Gall going forward, gives it in to Keneally. Back to Denise, Denise Gall! Gall! With the kick! Oh, oh that's the first bar! She has it again! It's in the net! It's, it's a third goal! <laughs> and it's Denise Gall! Zita Ash puts the original shot off the crossbar. And Gall, like any good forward, followed it in. And it's 3 7 to a point. They're going to want it all, Dorbla, with this win. Yeah, absolutely. MKL Gaze now are going to be and it's a the, the ball never came outside the 21. Never the 
Bond goes back to Denise Gore. Back to Lorraine O'Shea. O'Shea no. Looking to change the speed. And that's and gonna curl, it. it's and gonna curl. It's, curling. Curling. And it oh, it's just gone wide, it's a fourth wide for Munden Horn. MKL is with two. If the clock is in the red, it'll be interesting to see what he's gonna add on here. Ethel O'Brien was down for a couple of minutes. Kira Tangley is going short. Oh, Emma O'Shea has intercepted it. She takes the money now, look at him. Oh, what an effort. Oh, she, she had the right idea. She's done she the was, right thing, yeah. She was planning to lob her. And it's half and it's time. time here. It's half time. Three seven points. Goal there at that stage might have finished it, but it's three seven. And Eva O'Shea with an early goal inside 40 seconds. Uh, Gales responded straight away with a free for Maeve Rochford, but that's been their only score. Eva O'Shea has 2 2 scored. Denise Gall is doing a lot of work in the centre of the field, and she got a goal just behind on half time but then looking at looking at Chloe Gunn uh, she's done a huge amount of work but this game is far from over as you said there's a Gale force win going down into the goal and Gales will have it in the second half Gales will have a Gale as they say and Ailish Murphy Katie Denny the two Evans like get them on ball and anything can happen uh, China's again after the break
Welcome back to Mallow, uh, joined here by uh, Chair McCarthy, the big red bench. Chair, uh, I suppose the first half, that wind is having a huge bearing on the game. It has. It, it, it's, it's been the biggest uh, determining factor before this match today, who would get it first and who would make use of it. But you have to give Mullen Horn credit. It's one thing to have the wind, it's another thing to make use of it. And boy, have they done that. Like, they got off to the best possible start with a goal inside 45 seconds. But I've been hugely impressed with the way they played in the first half. Yeah, because they're leaving the two O'Shea's inside. Uh, like, they've been their danger all year. And we were kind of saying in commentary there how they were kind of holding the ball up. But yeah. the likes of Denise Gall has caused some huge damage out in the middle of the field. And Chloe Gunn on the far side of the field as well. And like, what a combination to have. I mean, you consider who you've got in midfield and you consider the quality that you're up against. Getting the ball in early has obviously reaped dividends. You got three goals out of it. You could have had four, maybe even five. But um, I think the, the real key today is that Mullen Hall are playing on the front foot. They're not afraid of MKL Gales. They're going at them. They're tackling. They've had one sin bidding, which is fair enough. But I think their way, they're, they're, the Mullen Hall defence has turned over. Uh, the Kerry team's forward line has been equally impressive as what's happening at the opposite end. Yeah, and I suppose the first 10 minutes of the second half is going to be huge. If Gales can get a few scores on the board and get the crowd behind them, there's huge. Crowd here, so there it is, uh, it's a great atmosphere as you said but here's the thing I mean I've, I saw Mullen Hall as well uh, against Castle Haven earlier on this year and one thing is the way they defend they defend in a block and they break at pace and I think this will actually suit them though playing into the second half what they can't do is just sit back and keep sitting back and let Gales come, come on to them and as you said that first 10 minutes of the second half I think is going to be vital because if Mullen Hall can keep it down to a couple of points and maintain the lead that they've got once they get like outside of that first 10 minutes, they can start hitting them on the break because all the pressure's on Gales now. They've got to come forward and they've got to get the scores. And as I said to you, that first half performance, it's one thing to have the win, but it's another thing to do what they've done with it. So, as you said, but I, I'm really impressed with that, that back six division that Mullinahone have had this year, not just today, but in a previous match as well. And I think if they can get a couple of points and scores on the break and keep the scoreboard ticking over just a couple of points every few minutes, they have every chance here. Yeah, because Gales have done a good job on Lorraine O'Shea. Lorraine has been probably Mullen Hall's go to the player all year. But, uh, like, as I said, like, if they can get the odd ball into him, but as I said, the first 10 minutes of the second half, uh, do you think Gales can turn this around? I think if Gales get a goal and they just, the momentum builds, as you said, with the crowd behind them, there's every chance they can. They're too good a team not to. But the thing is, as you said, while you're watching, only your key players, your, the other Mullen Hall players have really shone today, and that's been really impressive. When, you're, when your key players and when your kind of clutch kickers, as I call them, are being well marked, it's up to the other players. In the foot, and all of the full forward line have scored in that first half, which is fantastic. I think Gales, if they get a goal early on, it's going to be very difficult to stop that momentum. But Mullen Hall are built to hit teams on the break. They have the pace, they have the skills, and I think if they stick to the game plan, and they just keep at it no matter what the score is. If you can pick off a couple of scores, they have every chance of seeing this out. Yeah, well, uh, the team's just starting to come back onto the field, so, uh, Chair, uh, we talked to you after the game, and it's still all to play for. Yep, thanks very much. Cheers, that. Hope that was all right. Cheers. And uh, girls are out in the field. Mullen Hall still taking their time. As I said, the uh, first 10 minutes of this second half is going to be vital now to see if Gales can get back into an early goal and anything could happen. First, uh, under 19 um, county finals are on in Tipperary today as well. Uh, we're just getting in scores and Curtis Arsfields have beaten Temple Moore by 4-7 to 3-7 in the D final and in the in the B final it seems to have been a cracker and my Rovers have won by one point against Art Finn on a score of 4-7 to 3-9. The A final between Foran and, and Feathered is on later on and the C final is on as well. So as we're getting in those uh, scores We'll give them to you. Mullen well, Horn are coming back out onto the field now. To a huge reception. And no doubt that is going to lift them as they come out to face this Gale Force win. Doesn't seem to be any changes on either team. Lorraine O'Shea has come out to centre forward and Abel O'Shea has gone in full. Uh, 
Huge half a football ahead of us now. We're free making sure both teams are at the full complement. And we're back underway. The new squad trying to get the hand in. God giving it back to Nicole Shelley. Shelley facing Nick Broderick. Shelley wins the free. She's looking for support. She goes back to her centre back, Molly Walsh. After Keneally and Nicole Shelley has it. The referee has the arm up, he has it gone again. Nicole Shelley comes forward, gives it off to Lorraine O'Shea. Lorraine O'Shea is going on. O'Shea right. going forward, gives it inside, and there's a chance Patrick for Catra Foley. Oh, it's oh, a great it's save! A oh, good yeah. save by Zita, Na uh, Zita Ash. That could have finished it as a contest. It looks like the Lorraine O'Shea coming out centre forward. She's going to carry the ball in the second half into this win. Nicole Shelley goes low to Lorraine O'Shea. O'Shea take it on Kira Murphy. O'Shea kicks. Come wide. Five wides for Mullen Hall and two for MKL Gales. Now, this kick out is going to be vital now. Seat Hash's first kick out the second half. She goes long over the far side of the field. Oh, to Neve Roderick. But it's picked up by Michaela Keneally. Keneally gives it back there to Claire Egan. Egan. Nicole Shelley with the head down and 3 1. Spot now, thank God you're here because I wouldn't have seen <laughs> back with the play. And Lorraine O'Shea kicks, and Lorraine O'Shea puts it over the bar. Her second score, and MKL Gaines could have done without that. Neil Broderick in the bin. Kick out goes there to Laura Prendergast. Ball is with Cueva Evans. Evans facing Lorraine O'Shea. She's still coming, she's up over halfway. Giving it down this side of the field to Claude Evans. Evans trying to keep it in play, managed to do so. Gives it back to Kira Murphy. Murphy, Ante Ailish Murphy. Murphy. Back to Lauren Hickey. Hickey gives it back to Ellis Murphy over onto the first side of the field to Mae Roxburgh. Ro oh, great oh, block down, down there, but it's back in the hands of Katie Dennehy. Dennehy gives it off to Lorna Hickey. He's, he's and Mullen have it back with Claire Egan. Egan trying to find Michaela Keneally. Keneally facing Mae Roxburgh. Gives it off to Nicole Shelley. Shelley up against Cueve Evans, goes down into the corner, but one back there by Dervla Foley. Foley goes long and Ailish Murphy has room. She'll take on Aoife O'Brien. Murphy gives it into the centre to Cueve Evans. Evans. Back to Nave Rochford and to Ailish Murphy again. Cueve Evans. Evans Good kicks that foot, but that's gone wide. wide. Now, they're going to have to push up on this kick out now to put pressure on it. <laughs> a 
Anna Spurman with the kick out. Be hard against the wind. Drills it into the wind towards Nicole Shelley, but Laura, oh, she done well. It looked like Laura Prendergast was going to get it. Ball goes to Catherine Foley. Foley. Foley carries it over halfway. She's up to, for, to the 40, gives it's it back really to Lorraine O'Shea. Goes low to Ava O'Shea. Managed to get it up second time. Michaela Keneally gives it off to Claire Egan. Egan on to Lorraine O'Shea. O'Shea! Oh, it's just gone across the goal. O'Shea looking for that hat trick. She's had two opportunities. Kick goes to the far side towards Cueva Evans. Evans can't collect it. Denise Gall goes into the centre to Nicole Shelley. Shelley goes forward. She's at the 40, gives it to Lorraine O'Shea. O'Shea now, she'll change the course of direction. She's still going. O'Shea kicks. But this one's gone well wide. Hash kicks it out this side of the field. Chloe Gunn manages to retrieve it. And Gunn gives it out to Lorraine O'Shea. Good hand in there though. Wait, Laura, Ball is back. Out to and it's Katie Dennehy. Dennehy. Dennehy gives it off to Queen Evans and to Claude Evans. Evans taking on Denise Gall. Over the 60. Gives it down into the corner towards Lorraine Kennedy. Boss gives away. Race for possession back there. Emer Horn. Horn gives it off to Molly Walsh. Walsh coming forward. <clears throat> Out to Jenny Bray. Chief O'Brien. Chief O'Brien back, to, back Jenny to Jenny Bray again. Out to Nicole Shelley. Shelley comes forward. Jenny Bray. Brett been held up, referee hit the arm up, but to play away. Denise Gall giving it over this side towards Emma Cody, but the wind is going to pull it. It's just going to go over the line. Substitute for coming on. Years. Looks like Laura Prendergast is the part going off. And Leah Linehan who's come on. Kira Murphy goes long into the corner. Katie Dennehy, she's all alone. Off to Linehan, the new girl in. Kira Murphy continues her run from the original line ball. Referee has the arm up. Claude Evans coming through. through. She's still going. Claude Evans keeps it up in the air. The ball is. He's going to call it back. back for a free in. May have rushed for the this. Watch for kicks. And Rockford puts it over the bar. Just saving the new Rockford, is it? Her second score. <laughs> Kerry Crow telling Alice Brown to take the. Good ball out to Nicole Shelley. Overhands, but she's been doing this all year and gives a great ball out. And Nicole Shelley coming forward. To Denise Gall. Gall on to Evo O'Shea. O'Shea gives it back to Nicole Shelley. Shelley takes on Mered Lennon. And Evo O'Shea is going through. She's at the 21, she kicks. Drops short into the hand of Zita Ash. And Kira Tangney. And Lorna Hickey gives it into the centre to Mered Lennon. 
Oh, sinto o sete vai galera, Oxê! Oxê! Espera, dá um gol! Oxê, Xistê, gol! Quem se vai cair, Eva, Oxê! Oxê, Chicks, vai morrer de outro! She's gonna go low! Oh, deflection! Oh! See that! The ball is cleared down towards Claude Evans! Evans has to feel in front of her if she can get it! Claude Evans is going through! She's still going! She needs support! She's been held up by Denise Gold! For help! She kicks it across to Ailis Murphy! Ailis Murphy! And the ball breaks off her knee and Grania Horn is there to pick it up! Out to Jenny Brett. Brett finds the ball, Shelley in the Jenny. middle. Back to Brett again. That's Nicole Shelley. Uh, she it's just took too much out of it. And referee is going back here to. Player. I can't see who it is. It's Mayf Rock, who's he's talking to. He's giving Mayf Rock for the take from out. Denise Gall is down the ground at the moment. Kira Murphy is loose on this side of the field and she's spotted. Oh, and Catherine Foley Catherine could be in trouble Catherine. here. She was already sin binned. Linesman is giving the question. Paul Linda Linesman. And it's incorrect. He's giving yeah. her a second yellow. Mullen Horner are going to be down to 14. And Catherine Foley has been sent off. Now there's pressure building now. Mullen Horner are going to have to work that a little bit harder now. But they're sitting close to you with their uh, score. He's not the ball tackle. Now the lines are could be questioned again. And the umpire. Yeah, he's going into it? the umpires. Michaela Keneally is it it's on the ground? Yeah, it was like Rochford, uh, Evans trying to announce that to her. Did you see it? I just, I just seen the MK against girl walk in front of her and she was down. Yeah, she was now hand off into the stomach. Okay, it's only after coming back to 15, the player that was Sinbin, Neil Broderick, coming back on the field, and if they're down to 14 here... 14, 14 May of Rochford. She's in trouble now, that's the Sinbin anyway. For an off-the-ball tackle, they'll be in trouble now. A it's a red card. card! It's a red card! And both teams are now to 14. Now. 14 players each now. Not the right thing to do now, Connor. And is Denise Gall gone as well? If Denise she Gall has gone off the field as well, was Denise Gall sent off? Back with the player, we'll let you know, but Ailis Murphy giving it up. Ball is inside to Queen Evans. It's just held up by Molly Walsh. Teams are definitely getting heated out on the pitch now today. She turned into her. Walsh went to stand her ground. I don't know what's going to happen here.
just spoke to it. It looks like Denise Gaw yeah, was so sent off. Ah, yeah, Denise Gaw got sin bin. Was it a sin bin or a... No, so May Rothwell got a red card and Denise got a yellow card first. He's getting fiery here in the fourth complex in Mallow. Fiery in the stand too. Both teams getting, both sets of supporters getting behind their teams. Eilish Murphy takes the free. And it's and over, the over the bar. That's her third score. All her scores have been free, so I suppose she's taken over the mantra now that Mitch Rochford is no longer there. Someone on substitution coming down here. Claire Egan is going on. Marion Gilman. Alice Brown has hit the kick. It's, it's, it's intercepted it's and it's in the red in the hand. <laughs> Give it off, Katie Dennehy. 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 Give it off. Oh. No, 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 And that's going to raise scales now with 15 minutes to go. There's a Monday Hall player on the ground inside, but intercepting that kick out. The referee is telling his Molly Wise to get up. He's having none of it. Kick out taken towards the goal, Shelley. A Shelley is fouled. Well, that's Kick goes back. Go on your horn. Nicole Shelley now. Coming forward, held up. Referee has the arm up. It's a free out. Kick goes over there towards Michaela Keneally. Keneally taking on Mered Mahan. Off the Evo Shea. And it's Chinny Brett. Brett still going forward. There's a player loose inside. And she's done for over carrying. She's the player loose in the. And the fire now coming into this game. Queen Evans, coming forward, she's up over the 40, taking on Nicole Shelley, she she's still, still has going. it. Gives it down to... Down to Leah, yeah, Lauren. Lorna Hickey. Lorna Hickey. Hickey. There's so much for you over here. Oh, oh. she'd have played her loose inside if she had the spot. Yeah, here, take it. It could be the flexion, it's her. a 45. There's only two players inside the, apart from the goalkeeper, there's only two players inside the uh, MK Gales half at the moment. Gales are really putting the pressure on. Need Broncho test the kick. Oh, Danielle O'Sullivan, she was hit hard there. Yeah, for sure. There's no, 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 no in the half. The only person in the opposite half of the it field is Zita Ash. <laughs> and I think he's going to pause for the water break and give us all a chance to grab our breath.
ball is coming forward now and it's Steve Evans. Evans gives it off to Katie Dennehy. Long Hickey. Kicks and that's going to go wide. I'm down to the linesman at the Waterbury and he wasn't able to tell me whether Denise Gorn got a red or a yellow card. So we still don't know there. With 13 at the moment, turn 14. Nicole Shelley. Emma Cody. Cody runs into Nicole Shelley. And she's fouled by Lorna Hickey. Kick goes low to Ava O'Shea. Back to Emma. Emma Cody, you know, coming forward. Cody, ah, she took too much out of it. Free kick, the quickie to Evans. And it's Queen Evans. She's got players in the middle. Claude Evans has the arm up. Good ball across oh, the well intercepted by Claude And Claude Evans has it. Back in to Lorna Hickey. Lorna Hickey, been bottled up. Gives it back again. Hickey has it. Queen Evans is beside her. Hickey goes the other way. To Keir Tagney. Kick goes. Oh! 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 By Neve Broderick. Neve Broderick. Right in the roof of the net. Back from the Sinbin. And what a way to make up for Bin Sinbin. What a goal. This game is certainly not over yet anyway. We're down to eight points. We've got nine on the clock. Gail's coming forward again with Kira Murphy. Gives it up. Gives it up to Murray Lehan. 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 Back to Murphy. Katie Dennehy. Ball is on the ground with Lorna Hickey now. Claude Back Evans. Claude Evans. Murphy is loose on the far side. Good ball across to Ailish Murphy. Gives it up to Murray Lehan, but it was intercepted. And it's shooting, uh, guys. Denise Gall after coming Ailish back Murphy from. Gets on the ball. And she overcarries as well. Okay, so back to Molly Walsh. Walsh comes forward to Avo Shea. Ball is over the far side and Gales have it back and it's Danielle O'Sullivan giving it off to Claude Evans or to Cleve Evans to Lorna Hickey. Back to Claude Evans. Danielle O'Sullivan all the way up and Claude back. Chloe Gunn and Gunn is going to win a free here. No, she's not in it. Oh, oh, a clock left down by Claude Horn. And there's players on the ground, left, right, and centre. Oh. Chloe Gunn is on the ground. She got that ball right into the stomach, so she did. This is a game of backs and forwards at the minute. Game of football, yeah. One who right can't get the ball out of, out of her own half. We said it at half time, but that wind, that wind. has a lot to answer for. And it's only supposed to pick up, so for the second game now, there'll be a lot of pressure. The second so. game, of course, yeah. Don't forget the second game here today, the senior final between Aherlow and Moran Abbey. Moran Abbey going for seven in a row. You can see that game live here as well. Hopefully we'll get a cup of tea between the two matches <laughs> because it's very cold up here in the press box. Is Lorena on Ava, she is a few cramps. She's been in the wars all year with injury. She came out half a door a few days before the county final and she was telling me she had a full bill of health and she came out looking like a mummy with the amount of bandages she had on her. <laughs> She's back up again. And they're driving wind and rain now down into that goal. 
Go on your horn. Give the knock to Nicole Shelley. Shelley onto the base goal. Michaela Keneally is loose. And they're going to carry this ball. Oh, Lorraine O'Shea. 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 Using her pace. She's still going. Joey Gunn is off to her left. Gives it to Chloe Gunn. Gunn. Oh, she lost control of it. She still has it. Gives it to Gilman. It's Marion Gilman. Marion Gilman. She's held up. She but it's a free in. in. And a final stage. The MKM Games crowd aren't happy. Lorraine O'Shea now to have steady one in the hole a bit. And scored in a while. O'Shea kicks and O'Shea puts it over the bar. And a fight and stage with just over five minutes to go. That's her third. Kick comes out to Kira Murphy. Under pressure from Lorraine O'Shea, but Murphy manages to hold on to it. She's still going forward. Oh, into the middle. And it's Danielle O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan off to Claude Evans. She has Queen beside her, and Queen Evans has it back to Claude Evans. Evans bearing down on goal. Oh, she gives it inside. There's a goal chance. Oh, oh what a save. save. Oh, super save. And Eamon Horn is trying to come out with it. And Jenny Brett lifts the siege. Ball is out with Eamon O'Shea. Oh, that Munna Horn goal leading the term life. Eamon O'Shea yeah, just flies it to the long around. Marion Gilman couldn't take it. Gillian Kennedy gives it to Danielle O'Sullivan. Positions mean nothing at this stage. They're all just following the ball. Murad Lahan. Lahan gives it off inside to Lorna Hickey. She needs support. She Tries to go Kira back. Gillian Kennedy, Ellis Murphy, on to Claude Evans. Evans has been held up. Gives back it to, to Queen Evan. Evans. And she's kicking it. And, and it's she puts it over the bar. bar. Back to eight. Queen Evans' first score today. That's their first point from a, from play. The previous three had been free. Eight points in it with about five minutes to go, I say. And whatever injury time, a goal, what a goal to do for this game. See all the Aherlaw crowd in as well, getting behind one in the horn. They were announcing at the water break not to enter the fields at the end of full time. But It'll be hard to keep the one in the horn. God help the one in the horn. <laughs> Trying to tell all of them. Are thrown with the, the kick out. And uh, Gales have it back again. Ball, Ball down towards me, to Broder. Broder, back to Lorna Hickey. Broder has it again. Back to Lorna. Oh, it's oh, really in. A good hand in. Was it? By Grania Horn. Grania Horn. They win a 45. Horn has played very well there. In the full back. In place of Ali Fennelly, of course. Ford was low, Gillian Kindy. Gillian. Quive Evans. Quive Evans is long wide. That ball is going to go wide. Oh, and it's gone wide. Too far ahead of Korea. Fight and stage.
kick goes here to, and it's Katie Dennehy and Shalene Kennedy is fouled Gales need to get on with it Shalene Kennedy Lorna Hickey goes backwards to Kira Murphy Kira Murphy Cross to Evans Cueva Evans taking on Lorraine O'Shea O'Shea yes, managed to hold her up but she knows what she was doing Fouls it Professional foul yeah. It's free taken quickly Ball oh. oh. oh, is loose Referee says play away Lorna and Hickey and Lee Frotters was fouled one more person There's not one more the player outside the team. They're inside the 21 at this stage. She's a poor what are you teaching? They're not letting them get a score easy at all. She's going to drop it in. And it's That's dropping going to go and over the bar. <laughs> it's 3-9 to 2-5. The clock is in the red. It's down to the discretion of Mick Flannery. Alice Browning with the kick out. And it's. Uh, Ball comes this side. Leah Lenehan ended up with it. But Emma Cody coming out with it. And Cody is fouled. And Cody had the usual dependable self again. Nicole Shelley gives it back to Emma Cody. Back to Shelley. We're going to play a possession game here now. I don't think we're going to turn it around. Back, back to, to Molly, Molly Walsh. Walsh. Out to Cody. Back Money to Shelley. Or, Nicole Shelley. Shelley. And he goes for Owen McCarry. There's so many in sight. Free and take a quick in sight to Lee Frost. Oh, but it's gone me. wide. It's gone wide. That wind oh, was so strong. It just flopped over her head. She had to get that ball in her hand. And it's 61 Jordan on will, the clock. We'll take her time on this. The Mullinahone crowd are bailing for the whistle. Brown and takes the kick out. Towards the least goal. Breaks it to Michaela Canini. Canini is fouled. Mullinahone should have slowed this play down completely now. The substitute coming on here. Molly Walsh is taking her time. Down in front of us is the Aherlow girls heading towards the back to warm up. I think it's a heater they want today, no, yeah. not running around. <laughs> As the three goes short, to, back to Molly Walsh, Miles taking on Kira Murphy. Back to Jenny Brett to Denise Gall. T for Brian, back again to Denise Gall, to Molly, Molly Walsh. Walsh. Molly Walsh is put under pressure by Kira, Kira Murphy. Murphy yeah. And Denise Gall. Gall has been all over the place. She's even given a spell on the sideline at one stage. Gall again. And, and they're bringing it right back here now. Back to Jenny Brett. Brett. They're just taking the wind out of the Gale sails. Back to Nicole Shelley. Nicole Shelley. Lorraine O'Shea is calling for her. Lorraine O'Shea has it. And to Ian Horn. Back to O'Shea. O'Shea still going forward. Kept under pressure here, boy. She's just Ryan. messing with it. It's got out over the line. Big free taking into Cleve Evans. Onto Cleve Evans. Now Cleve Evans has it. Coming forward. Kicks long ball in. Towards me. And she gets there again. That's going to go wide again. The wind is just pulling that ball out over the line every time for him. We're 63 minutes. The referee's looking at his clock. Ball kicked out towards Nicole Shelley. Shelley and over to here Emma to Emma Horn. Back again to Emma. Emma Cody wins the free. Cody Plays gives it back, it back to, Molly, to Molly, Walsh. Molly Walsh. Nicole Shelley. 
to Emma Horan. Emma Horan comes forward. Up to Jenny Brett. Brett onto Eva O'Shea. Jenny Brett continues her run. And, and it's all over! Mung Mahon, our Munster champion for 2021! What a year for Mung Mahon and what a way to finish it! Mung Mahon! What a finish! 3 9 to 2 5. This made the foundation early with that goal from Eva O'Shea. O'Shea getting the second one and the third goal by Denise Gall just before half time. And try as they might, MK Gales. They got two goals with Lorna Hickey and a super goal by Neil Broderick, a goal of the year contender. But they just couldn't see it out or close the gap. And what a sound work rate by everyone of them players out there today.
I'm not doing that, right? Ava, Lorraine, Mary, Monster Champion, sounds good. Yeah, you got to a great start here for that goal within 40 seconds. Obviously, the first 10 minutes of the second half are going to be vital. Yeah. Well, let's enjoy the celebrations tonight and uh, we might talk to you. Best of luck. <laughs> oh, we might, yeah. So that's the uh, Don't forget to ch stay tuned with us. Um, we're back in a couple of minutes for the senior final which is uh, more than Abbey and Aherlow. Celebration is going to continue here for a long time with Mon Nahon but stay tuned and we'll be back in a couple of minutes. <laughs> 